Hey YouTube, um, this is Lock Looney Tune and I'm here with my update. Um, this is day two of my water slash juice fasting, um, part of my weight loss journey. Um, I just wanted to update you and tell you, you know, how yesterday went and Oh gosh, um, it was bad. I mean, I mean it was okay for a while, and then it started getting really bad around dinner time. Um, I'm married. I have four children, so you know around dinner time, my husband he's cooking, and then <sighs> last night they had lasagna. And I was in my room because, I, you know, I could smell it. And it, the hunger cravings came. That is one of the worst things about this process right now. In the beginning, I know that I knew that I was going to have um, the hunger cravings, the hunger pains, and the stomach was growling and things like that. But I stuck with it. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't crack under the pressure. Um, I kept, you know, drinking my juice, drinking my water, just kept it going. Uh, try to, you know, miss some of the bad things about, you know, the, this first process, this beginning process. Um, the, another, uh, bad thing was probably, um, the trips to the bathroom. Man, let me tell you, I tripped, I went to the back. I don't know how many times, I couldn't even imagine counting on a regular day when I would, was eating normally to now, when I'm drinking all the time, I am in the bathroom every hour, it seems like on the hour, it just seems like, oh my God, it's time, again, wow, again, man. So, but at least I know that, you know, it's doing something because I'm running constantly going to the bathroom. Um, like I said, the, the, the smells, if I'm not smelling anything, it's not bad. But if I smell something that smells really, really good, then it, I, it just, it's a bad situation. Um, um, last night being the first night, it will probably... Uh, crying. Um, I broke down in tears last night because I did not think I could do this. I really was, you know, really depressed about it and just knew how, didn't know how I was going to be strong enough to actually accomplish this and, and, and that, the first night is probably the worst, so anyone that's thinking about doing this or water fasting or anything, just know that the first night will probably be your hardest. Um, um, now on to, I guess, the good side and the good things about this that I have come to realize. Uh, when I went to sleep last night, I I did not have to take one of these. I was so happy I did not have to take one of these. I did not have any acid reflux last night. No sleep apnea. I was able to sleep great. I didn't have to take this. I just left it on the dresser and it was there. I didn't have to take it and I was so happy about that. I felt better. I was able to lay down. I didn't have to sit up for an hour because usually after I would eat, I would have to sit up for an hour and not lay down. And then once I did go to sleep, I would still have acid. So in the middle of the night, I would get up and I would have to take one of those, you know, acid pills for my acid. And it, it was horrible. But I feel better. I mean, I feel better now. 
my system, it feels great. I've never felt better as far as physically. Um, other than that, um, all I can say is that I, um, I haven't been very active except, uh, for, like, walking. Um, um, I don't know if you know, um, I live in the D.C. area, and right now, it's, like, 100 degrees outside. It's, we're going through this massive heat wave, and it is, it is 100 degrees, and it's been, like, over 90 all week long with a few more days to go. So, it's extremely hot. So, I haven't really been going out because I don't want to get really dehydrated knowing that I'm only drinking water. Um, I have... I, I really want to thank um, everyone that subscribed or any future subscribers to my channel who's um, interested in watching me and supporting me on this journey of mine, um, I just want to thank, like, a couple of people, a few people who have been actually some of my first supporters that have given me very, very encouraging words, um, at the beginning of this journey, um, Slim by Faith, uh, she's very, very inspirational on her channel, and she's given me um, some words of encouragement. Uh, Choco Doll 73. Hey, Choco Doll 73. Um, she was, is my first subscriber. And I'm very, um, happy to say that, um, she's giving me also some very encouraging words and, um, and support. Uh, Backslider 1976. Um, thank you very much for uh, supporting me and um, being very interested and um, like I said I need all of you guys support and um, what I'm going to do is um, I have a previous video where I did a weigh in and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be weighing myself weekly so and a week, like a week from yesterday, I'll weigh myself again um, to record and keep you updated um, on my progress. But I just want to let you guys know that um, I'm going to stick with this and um, hopefully the days will get better. First day wasn't as great as I thought. Today is day two. So, um, I'll be back tomorrow to let you guys know exactly, um, how day two, completed day two. But it's actually almost one o'clock in the afternoon right now. So, you know, I still have a ways to go. So, hopefully around dinner time I won't be as hungry. So, um. I just want to let you guys know that I am serious about this. And, um, oh, one more thing. Um, my exercise regimen, I don't, a lot of people say that you should not do a lot of strenuous exercises or any really vigorous exercises while you're water fasting or, um, juice fasting, things like that, really like exercise. I, because I am very overweight, um, I want to do, um, a little bit more, like, so, on days when I have a little energy that I can do something, I'm going to do something, but it, if my body tells me that, because I'm not taking in any solid foods or anything, if my body tells me that, no, today is another day you need to do that, then I will rest, and I will listen to my body, so, um, but I will keep you guys updated on all of those things. So, um, until then, I will see you later.